United States of America did that exist in the first century? First century? Yeah. Well, so obviously, Mormonism could not have started in the first century. But this gentleman doesn't think so. <laughs> because he said, times, and your friend, are you, are you, do you know him? He doesn't even want to back you up here. <laughs> did Mormon write the Quran in AD 568? No, no, question. Let, let uh, question, let question, me, question, let question, please. Let me read it. Question, please. When you say that you believe in history, okay. So, how do you prove that your history is true? My problem exactly is that. How can you, how can we speak about death and resurrection of someone without a positive connotation? Just, just giving What's a neutral response to that. Yes, so of course. If, if someone were to, to live... If you were to go to any cemetery right now, and you saw somebody fall out of their, their coffin, would, would it be positive for you? Or would you be kind of spooked out like, yo, what's going on? No, no. Uh, it won't be, oh, uh, what's going on? Wow, what's happening here? This is significant. You're a liar, you're a liar. I'm telling you, you're alive right now. You're lying to me. So if everyone, someone were to live, die, everyone come back alive, life. are you saying, oh, it's just part of normal life, no, you'll just go on no. as if nothing happened? Is that what you're saying? No. I would be, be taken back by it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, in other words, you not want in, to not investigate in more. Way. You would think you're this is significant, way. wouldn't you? No, but you're saying that it's strictly a positive connotation. Mm. Well, if something, if someone were to die, come back alive, is that good news, great news? We found a cure for death, haven't we? But I'm saying that's not in, in its entirety. I don't believe so. Horror, so if someone were films, to die, come back alive, with zombies. That's if someone horror, were to that die, be positive. Now, zombie is People a coming back to life. My dear friend, you know in what con what the, put the, t the the meaning of the term zombie is. It's uh, zombies aren't about living life. They're that's what they're about. So I'm not talking about a zombie. I'm talking about resurrection. Yes. A dead man coming back full and well alive. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about zombies and spirits and so on. So if someone were to die and come back alive, yes. isn't that great news? I guess so. My question to that is, what should I do with that, with that news? Like, what well, should I do with it? Well, if I, if I got to know about someone who died, came back alive, I'd say, well, this is something I'm going to seriously check out. And then after you check it out, what, should, what next? In this case, Jesus says he would do the same to you. When you die, when I die, he is able to give you and give me life again. So I'd say, well, this is phenomenal. So I thought it was have, only with... Have you got any proof of that, that what you just said happened? So I have a proof of the fact of Jesus' resurrection in history and I have a proof of him... Bringing all people back to life. Well, let's put it this way. If you, if you, let's say, let's say medical doctor yeah, in, a, in a hospital, yes. yeah. When you go there, uh, not you, when a particular person goes there, let's say for a heart surgery, the proof that you'd ask him is, have you done a surgery to me? That's not the proof you'd ask. Have you done a surgery before? Are you qualified? Can you do this? And if there is some way where the person says yes, then you'd say, oh, well done, I'll take you. <laughs> Similarly, with Jesus, the question to be asked is, do you know about resurrection? Not, can you res have you resurrected me? But rather, do you know about resurrection? And Jesus would say, of course, I, I died and I came back alive in the first century. And that is his qualification. Based on that, I say, Jesus is someone I would follow. Your you question, to a point that your question nice. was, has he brought anyone back alive? Yes. My point is, that's not the right question to ask. The right How question. Are you going to tell me what the right question is to ask if I'm asking you a specific question? You can't that's put exactly it the right point. <clears throat> no, okay. if you, you have to deal with a question. My, my, uh, that's exactly my dealing with a question, my dear friend. No, you're not. You dealt with a question by saying that's the wrong question to ask. Yeah, yeah. Which is that's a daily valid answer. With, with, yeah, so, so that's my answer to that question. So, so let me give you a couple so you of names. The Lazarus, Jesus rose, rose him back from. Oh, well, from you're not bed. listening now. <laughs> Lazarus came back alive through Jesus. Lazarus come out and he came back in in Israel, Judea, in the first century. A dead man, four days, fourth day comes back alive. Lazarus. 
a, a young girl he says talita kumi young young girl uh, raise up and she comes back alive in front of the parents and the close disciples so you ask me has he has he resurrected people yes yes but the more crucial point but the more crucial point is the question we need to ask is not has he resurrected him has he resurrected him? Now you're just putting things in people's mouths. Yeah. Um, I can't even remember. But he, what, no whatever question. questions I posed to him, he would say that's not the question to ask. But it's a question, question I asked him. So, so can't tell me my question isn't. So the question, the question you asked, asked, the question you asked me was, yes. do I have, do I have proofs to say Jesus resurrected other people? Yes. My question to you is, that's not the question to ask. The question to ask is. Has he resurrected anyone, including himself? And my answer is, him coming back alive in itself, even if he didn't raise up anyone else alive, him raising up uh, to life him, uh, himself is enough evidence for me to say, this guy knows what he's talking about. Excuse me, excuse me. Where did you uh, excuse me what is your name? Please go on. What is your name? Arul. Ar Arul? Arul. Arul, okay. Uh, because he asked for proof, but I didn't hear proof. Yeah, no, no, so I'll, 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 I can handle it, it's all good. Uh, no, no problem, that's why, because... It, yeah, don't... it don't make sense, it don't make sense. So what does it make sense? Someone living, coming back alive, yes. isn't that good news for you? Again, please. Why? I want to know why it's good news for me. Yeah. Well, if someone, are you? Will you? Do you think you will die someday? That's mm. that's a fact. Yes. So, so, so you you know you'll die someday. Yes, yes, someday. Will, yes. Would you want to die? What do you mean? Would you rather prefer to live forever? That's an impossibility. So I won't even. I'm not asking you if it's an impossibility. No, but or not. I, I, I'm, I'm asking not, you. Would I'm you not rather like around, to? I'm not playing around with childish fantasy. If I know it's an inev inevitability, I'm not going to now. So, so you think Question. coming back alive is childish fantasy, but I just told you in history it has happened at least once, and therefore calling something which has happened once okay. is not okay. a fantasy so is not a good idea. If it's happened, yeah. what should I do about that? Well, if it has happened at least once, yes. you first of all need to take one step forward and say, oh, this is not fantasy anymore. And, this and seems to be reality. So, so and therefore, you, so you want me to resurrect his order? Is that what you're trying to say? And therefore, you would then need to seriously consider the question, which is, would you rather live forever rather than just die? Why? If there are two options, yes. you die and that's it. End of story. And option two, you live forever. Which one would you prefer? Are you, what, what death are you referring to? The physical sense of death? Yeah, yeah any, mm. any sense of death. Let's say the physical sense of death. Yeah. yeah. Would you rather live forever? Not in the physical Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm really confused now. I know, because, because you don't want Jesus, to answer the question. Jesus. You don't seem to want to answer the question. You obviously know what the question is. If you were given two choices, one you die, Which and that's the it. the only choice. I don't know what else you're talking about. The other thing which you think is a fantasy, I've just told you, is not a fantasy because at least Jesus came back alive. Is he here right now? He is alive. Is he here right now? He needn't be here for him to be alive. Is he here? He in needn't be here sense. for him to be alive. In a physical sense, is he here? He is here in a sense, that in is true. In a physical sense, is he here? Well, he, God is not just a physical person, no. So is he, is he, is he here in a physical sense? As a man to, like you showing up here, to, no. You're referring to a physical resurrection. I am he, he had a physical resurrection. That's what you're referring to. My dear friend, you as a person well, he's is... he's not here right now in a physical. You as a person is not just your physical body. I know, I know that. And therefore, I'm not talking about a pure physical resurrection so, alone. So yes, I'm, so what, I'm what? talking about... Uh, so you, I, I didn't ask your name, but you as a person yes. know who you are yes. in terms of identity. I'm talking about that person yes. coming back alive. In the physical. Including in the physical. Including. Not including, I'm saying in the physical. As, as well, you as a person here. is not your physical being alone. But if I did not know, I would say that. If you did not know, you stick to that. But don't tell me what I should say when I don't know what you're talking about. So, my dear friends, Jesus' resurrection is a fact of history. There is no point arguing against it. 
Okay, okay, Fact of history. Is, if it's true, what next? What do you want me to do about that? If it is true, yes. I'd like you, first of all, to say, yes. wow! Why should I say wow? <laughs> I, this, this is getting really interesting here. Yeah, if I, I'm, 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 if it seems, it seems, case, it seems like, question. it seems like I'm trying to tell you what you should do about good news, great news, death, and life after death. Hooray! That's what you need to be saying. You shouldn't be saying, "Wow, this is boring." So resurrection into a physical form is something I should be. Raring and so, that, yeah, so, so, so here, here we seem to have a problem, and that's why I'm what asking you the question is? again. If you were given two choices, die yes. and that's it, end of story, live which forever, I, which, I which one would you rather have? Um, go on, go on, go on. Go on, you know what the question is? And two, we are immortal anyway, so it, I, that's that's how it wins. <clears throat> so you're can immortal can anyway. Can yeah. Where, 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 in where, a, where are you going? Sense, where are you going to live in your immortal life? Where? What you better you plan properly. Heaven. What you would call heaven? No. Heaven is not just your place where you just turn up there. That's why I said what you would call heaven. I didn't say it's, it's an exclusive, my mm. only place. I didn't say that. No I, I, no, I never said it's your exclusive place. I am just saying you won't end up there just without any plan. You don't end so up, what, you, what, you and I won't. So what, what plan, give me the plan then. <laughs> My dear friend, you and I won't end up in, let's say, the sunny beaches of California, the, the beautiful places in the world, even the beautiful places in this world, you and I won't end up without a plan. How much more the heaven? The heavens, you're not just going to turn up purely because you just think you'll turn up there. You need to know on okay. what basis you would be there okay. and you need to make sure you satisfy the criteria for that. Okay. So what and the criteria is God, where God is, is what is called heavens. Heavens, is, there we go. Where God is, that is what heavens, heaven, he, heaven is. And once you know God, then you are beginning to know what God in human history showed up showed up showed up verifiable is that is that what you is that, is that the language you want to use yes only, only verifiable verifiable God okay, how do you verify it well in human that's history an interesting statement. what that's an interesting statement Good. that you just said there. how do you verify now, it now I'm seeing the only one sorry the only one that you can now I am seeing a bit of expression there which is really good because yeah. you, you, you this is the language is kind of crazy this that's is why. Well, no, it's not crazy. This is great news. Only verifiable okay, God. Boy, is there any other God on the face of the earth who can be verified to be God? I found no. I, I find no one. So, so verify me. Give me the proof. In the, terms the of Jews Jesus. Say, the Jews in, say that. In terms of Jesus, yes. I could verify him to be God because he seems to have power over life, over death. Okay. He seems to know how to give life. Okay. He seems to know how to. Heal infirmities. Where did he you seems to be he, 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 he seems to be able to command even nature. Where he did seems you see to that? even where, where did you see that? Well, you better begin reading history, my dear friend. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. When last did you read the Bible? Whoa. Why do you you say that in sorry when my, my English is not so good, sorry. Okay. But you say Matthew, John, Luke from the Bible. Why do you believe that? Because, because it's history. <laughs> what? No, no, because no, no, it's no, history. no, 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 not history. No, no, no. Why do you? Because it's <laughs> because history. It's yep. I believe in history. Do you, don't you? So, do you believe in history or not? <laughs> Well, don't, 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 don't give any expression yeah, yeah, yeah. because I don't history, know what your answer is. Problem. In he, history, he's to set you up. He's trying uh, to set you up. Would you believe history or not? They are fake history, yes or not? No, I'm not talking about fake history. Ah, they are I'm fake history, yes or not? You see, why? You say that you believe in history, okay. So how do you prove that your history is true? No, no, no. Like, cap, let, let's that, be that careful. Thing. Let's be careful. This is point. not my history as if it's in my pocket. No. Okay. This is our human history. So, if it was, so if it was in our, human history, why? in the first century, yeah. you have Jesus as a person show up in Judea. Do you agree or not? I have only one question. Why do you believe Matthew, John, Luke, I don't know. Because it's history. Right. But they are fake history. 
How do you know that your history is Can true? you please explain why this is fake history? Well, man, explain, explain to me why you believe it's true. You believe it. Yeah, I yeah. don't believe it. Yeah, no, I know, I know. So explain I know, I know. to me, please. I can explain to you why this is real history. But I'd like to, okay. at least after I finish, at least after I finish, I'd like you to give some comments for you audaciously using the term fake history in relation to the Bible. Either, either you don't know what you're talking about yet, want to claim this to be fake purely because it advances some of your other ideas maybe so you need to then explain I can tell you why I consider this to be history not fake history history true history well true there's history. a history is true the story no, don't no, match no. up the story no, Mark no, no, no. it doesn't match up what do you mean what do you mean, man? Read it, it doesn't match up. What do you mean it doesn't all. match up? Jesus was born somewhere else and then somewhere else. It where, doesn't where? match up. Hmm? Where? Read it, then you will see. Jesus was born. Even, even the, the, the descendants of Jesus never even match up. You read it, then you will see. Descendants of Jesus, Jesus never had any descendants. Oh, read it. It's the, read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called genealogy, okay. not descendants. Oh, ge genealogy. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't match up. It doesn't match up at yeah, all. Yeah. In what Trust regard? Me, at one point, it came from um, Solomon, and then the other one came from Nathan. It doesn't match up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus uh, happens to have two people related to him in terms of parents. Two. Yeah. Who, who, who and who and who? Who, are the who and His who? mother and his father. Which one? Who? Who? Tell, tell us their name. How many parents have you got? Two. <laughs> yeah, good. The name. So you the would name. have two Give genealogies. Give us the name. father? You would have two geneal yeah. genealogies yeah. with you. Who is Jesus' father? Well, that's, a, that's, a whole that's a whole number argument. Joseph! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joseph! Ah, listen really? to me! Oh. Listen to me! <laughs> <laughs> people considered... Excuse me! People considered Joseph to be his father! No, no, you of said course, yes! And that's, why they said, and that's why they said, Is this not the carpenter's son? Let's read carefully. No, 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 no. Let's read. Let's let's read. Who is the father? Instead of consider. Let's let's read. Is Joseph his father? My dear friend, if only you read what you think you have read, it'll be really useful. So there are two genealogies given for Jesus. One is in Matthew, another is in Luke. Let's match up. You read it and you see it does well, not match unfortunately up. though, the it that you are referring to is something which you never read. It's in your Bible. Let's read carefully. I've read it very well. So let's read again then. This is what it says. Look, this is how he begins. Now Jesus himself began his ministry at about 30 years of age. Being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph. You asked me who Jesus' father was. Supposed. And Supposed. what did I say? Yes. What did I say? People consider Joseph to be his father. No. No. What and you what does Luke say? But he never slept with Mary. So how can he be that? I'm not just saying that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. The problem is what the Bible says. I'm not asking you for your concerns about Mary. No, no, no. It's not mine. It's what the Bible says. My dear friend, I'm not asking you for your grievances about their married life. Okay, That's okay, not the okay. question here. The question is, can Jesus have two genealogies? That's no. the question. And the answer is, yes, of course. Through Mary, who you and I agree are his mother, is his mother. And the other person, the argument is, I am saying Joseph was considered to be Jesus' father, just like how Luke records. And therefore, Jesus can legitimately have at least a second genealogy, at least. Wow. Okay. The problem is. Okay, okay. The, 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 in the air, like, what the is All right. I know this problem. Are you an expert in Jewish history? Who's the queen? Who's the queen? Who's the queen? Are you an expert brother, brother, in Jewish brother. history? And you brother. are the queen of that. I never said the, I am. Brother. The initial I'm question. Well, the initial, I'm not, I'm not brother, scoffing here. The initial here. question was who is Matthew? Who is Luke? Why Why do you believe them? Because they have written history. But they are fake history. Like what? No, it's right. Like, Jesus uh, is I, I don't know, a reporter is not a fake Let's read this. He's bringing out the books. He's bringing out the books. Okay, we're going to see. Bring out the books. So, let's find out which so, portion. You, you're going to prove to me why you believe. Let's Matthew, find out, Luke, my dear John friend, which portions of Matthew and Mark and Luke and John are fake history. Yeah? You need to help me out. I'm going to give you what I know to be true. You teach me, please, and correct me. So let's let's go through this. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John talk talk about a particular Jesus, whose mother was Mary, whose brother was James, 
who himself was called Christ and so on. All four talk about a very particular Jesus who was called the Christ. Josephus agrees. Tacitus agrees. And I'm assuming you don't know about both of these historians. Why do you believe them? These are historians. What do you know about Josephus? What do you know about Luke? Now, nah, question. What, what do you know about ask, Matthew? Ah, because the author, <laughs> the author themselves, the moment in the script, the and the moment Bible, you don't know the answer, you go back to your original no, 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 question. Brother, brother, brother. <laughs> seems to be a pattern brother. here. Question, be, my dear friend. Be an historian. <laughs> no, my, my dear friend. Mean, uh, be an oh, historian. Be fair, be fair. Answer the question. Do not mean that what I say is true. Right. Now, let, 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 let's, deal, let's, let's, let's deal with this. So you are saying. Being a historian doesn't mean what he says is true. Yes. I agree. Yes. I agree. Yes. I never said anything that a historian says has to be true. Okay. Never said that. Okay. Number two. Number two. I'd like to then ask, what do you know about what I am talking about? To an extent, you are rejecting this. I'm asking you. But brother, the problem is that's your belief. I didn't say no, that no, I believe no, in no, Luke, no, Matthew, no, no, and Matthew. No, no, no. You're, you're that's your back, belief. Yes. You say, you here. say, because he was asking a proof. Uh, about Jesus, you say uh, your answers was in the in the Bible. So I say, why do you believe yeah. the, the scripture in the Bible? Yeah. But you give. And what did I say? You didn't give me. What a, did I a, say? An answer. Oh, really? He asked me because multiple said, times, and your friend, are you? I do you know him. No. No. He doesn't even want to back you up here. <laughs> no, 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 no. I but you say, are we friends? I so can handle myself. No, no, no. Good. Yeah, He's I not your friend. Yeah. Good. No, no, no. Why? Now that's fine. Right. Now, okay, now. Question. Oh, question. Oh, question. Oh, question. Oh, question. Oh, sorry. You just I'm asked him. How does he know um, Luke and the rest of them, right? I, no, no, the question you asked me was, want, want, why do I, I believe? Have, I have, I have, I have um, a great example. For example, Luke didn't say in his text that his name is Luke. So, so, so how can, the, the gospel are according to Luke, but in the gospels, no, there is nothing about Luke saying, yeah, I'm Luke, I'm writing about Jesus. So, how do you find the name Luke? Unfortunately, my dear friend, literature has the problem. That's the problem. You see, my dear, my dear friend. That's not because I come with a book and I say it's the the, the word of God that you need to to believe me. No, no, never. I need proof about it. I know. You see? I know. The problem is the 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 book that you have here. You you have statement about it, but you had any proof um, of of the the uh, truthful about Luke. Matthew, John, so, and I don't know. Uh, so the person the of Jesus in history called the Messiah, yeah. written by Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, has been testified by historians. Okay. I, I'm, well, well, I'm going to check. I'm going to check. Do maybe you have the capacity to deal with history? Brother, maybe it's to me, it seems free. like you don't uh, seem to have the capacity to deal with history. That seems to be the problem here. Do you, do you have? Do you have? A Bible in the time of Jesus. That's what they're saying. They're saying Do you have the a Bible, Bible is written according to. Yeah. So who is that person that is according to that is writing that? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the it's not Luke himself that is writing. Yes. Before Somebody else is writing it according yeah. to. I can lie and say according to you. Doesn't make it true. Yeah. So who that right Doesn't make it true. Yeah. 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 Let's what put it this way. Right let's, history. my dear friends, let's put it this way. Time and the time again, tells the story, my dear, the victim. excuse me, my dear friend, time and time again, people bring up this basic fallacious argument, time and time again. The person who wrote the book of Luke never said, I am Luke and therefore, how do we believe? As if, as if, one second, as if the statement, I am Luke, if it existed in that book, you would readily believe. Not, Even if the, the statement case. was there, it's I wouldn't the readily believe. I don't believe the book was written by Luke purely because it happens to say I am written by Luke, which it doesn't say, or according to Luke. Yeah. The reason, my dear friend, the reason we know, the reason we know, you may get a better deal for you, my dear friend, if you go to confuse.com. The reason yeah. Christians yeah. know you know Mark wrote the Gospel no. of Mark. Are you saying Luke. Christians? Are you saying Christians? Or Luke, people? Luke. If you're saying Christians, then and if you're using the Christians word, don't no. come later on. Are you talking about later on? Or are you talking about the existence? Can I please finish and then you can okay. challenge? Okay. So in history, people are aware of the the identities of the writers of the Gospels, which are there in the Bible. 
through the simple fact of yeah. these writers handing down. Okay. You don't but, even but, wait but, for but me to finish text. to you. This is the problem. This is the problem. Plenty of questions. Never wait for an answer. Are you a Muslim, sir? Are you a Muslim, sir? So what? Plenty of ready made watches. So what? Ready made for the Muslim. I'll tell you so what. I'll tell you so what. What's the problem? I'll tell you so what. Plenty of ready made questions and plenty of ready made impatience. Not waiting for an answer. That's a problem. No, no, so no, no, what? No. That's sorry, a problem. It's wait, wait, sorry, wrong answers sorry about no, 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 from you guys. Ahead. Ahead. That's fine. Let him, let him finish. Sorry, Matthew let him. wrote a book and commended his book. Do you see him? Oh. Impatient. Impatient, bro. That's like Who trained sticks. you, my dear friend? Who trained you? Was that the gentleman who trained you? Go on. Who trained you? Go on. Who trained you? 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 And this community is what we call Christian Church. Wrote a book, gave it to the church, the community of saints, Christians, first century, gave it to them. They happened to remember who gave it to them. They read it, made copies of it, and spread the book around. Do people think Matthew wrote the book purely because it says, according to Matthew, which was uh, uh, likely what you might know, was added later on, the, te the text according to Matthew was added later on not blindly not blindly but just as a codification of what was known to be true without the codified information they knew it they knew who handed the text to them and that was handed from one person to another so just like how you know who he trained you so Matthew Mark Luke John Peter Paul James were popular first century Christian leaders Jesus appointed many of them personally in his own life before he went to before he was crucified so popular figures wrote things down and others remembered that these people wrote things down and gave it to them can I say something yeah but they're not christians they're not christians i don't know they're what they're not christians I'm not, well, zero out and unfortunately they are I, not christians I, unfortunately i'm not looking for your comments your ideas here i they want the truth christians i want the truth have you been to israel have you been to israel why should you to israel why you know they are not christians what do you mean they are not, not christians what do you mean they're not you just said the book was handed over to them because they're christians yeah. that's what you said and no, no, i didn't say yes yeah, go back you can, you can play it back again you can play it back again and watch it. No, no, what is the so what is your challenge they're, they're not, not christians, christians who are they who are they the jewish guys well, yeah, they're not true. Christians. Yeah, Jewish Christians. Yeah, true. Jewish, Jewish, Jewish Christians. Jewish Christians. It's pretty much like what? arguing they're not what? human beings. The the you, they're not human beings. They're Christians. What's a Jewish Christian? That's the problem is Christian. Jews Christian? by ethnicity. Jews Christian by, by religion. My dear friend, the idea of Jesus, <laughs> the idea of Christ the Messiah, is a very Jewish so, idea. For you. Excuse me. Well, Why well, don't you brother, follow brother, the laws of the Jews? I'm not asking a question, bro. I'm not against you. Yeah. Well, well, you're right. You're, you're right. But you asked a question and okay. you turned around when the answer was said. Sorry. Sorry. The okay. answer was the idea of Christ, Messiah, is Jewish. <laughs> and therefore, someone who introduced the idea of being a Christian, i.e., a Can follower. You that again, sorry? I, the idea of Christ is what? The term Christ refers to the idea the refers to, is a translation for the term messiah messiah in hebrew which is an idea in jewish history and therefore anyone who spreads the idea of messiah spreads the uh, spreads a jewish idea not a non-jewish idea it's a jewish idea so jesus being the messiah is a jewish message transferred to all sorts of countries in the world so where did you get the christian message uh, there is no such thing called a christian message uh, what do you mean by the, christian the problem message? is the religion no 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 if jesus does let's put it this way let's put it one second one second jake one second jake one second jake one second, jake. One second, jake. One second. So you were you were here for more than 5 minutes sir did you realize we were talking about a person called jesus yes did you realize we were talking about people called matthew mark luke john 
Did you realize we were talking about literature written by them? No way were we talking about religion, were we? We, we were talk talking about, about history yeah. of people. Okay, are we talking about Yahushua or are we talking, are we talking about, about Jesus? My dear friend, I don't know your level of knowledge about Jesus, but unfortunately for you, but unfortunately for you, Jesus, when he sent his apostles, his apostles who are the official representatives, not you, his own official representatives, unfortunately for you, care to note down scriptures in Greek, not Hebrew. And in Greek, they did not care to record things down as Yeshua, but rather as Jesus. And therefore, if you think you need to get back to Hebrew words, may I please correct you, even Paul didn't think so. You might know better than Paul. If that is the case, I might want you to check out your history. Paul knows better than you. Peter knows better than you on what ought to be preached. And they chose to write in Greek, not Hebrew. And therefore the argument and therefore the argument and therefore the argument and therefore my dear friend and therefore the argument is not whether it's Yeshua or Jesus the argument rather is who is the person behind the name okay and the person behind the name died excuse me sir what is your name Arul your name would forever be Aaron. Don't change his name. No, it's not Arun. You want to argue, argue correctly. You don't change the name. My name is always my name. This whatever is silly. language it is. You know, don't change how many else are there? The your, problem, the how many else are there? The foundation of your argument, you speak well, but the foundation <laughs> is wrong. Yeah, your point, my, my dear friend, that's why, my dear friend, you talk, you talk, you talk about Matthew. You, you talk, you talk about Matthew. You argument but on a name that is false. A name that Do you is like know 400 how many? Years old. How many? You are wrong. How many? Go back. I will support you by your foundation. Please support me. Correct. Please support me. Yeah. The problem please, is, my dear friend, please support me. We are, I need help right away. I hurt you. I hurt you. Why do I need? I need help. I need help right away. Brother, brother, I hurt you. I hurt you. Jesus, Jesus. I need your help right away. I hurt you. I, can you please help me? I, I need your help right away. I hurt you. I hurt you. Can you please help me? Jesus. Oh, can you please help me? I hurt you. Do you think that we're standing here? I thought you were helping me. I don't see the help. I don't see the help coming through. Don't you think that we're standing here? My dear friend, can I please ask you for your help? Do you think people who listen to you have no knowledge? You don't seem to. You don't seem to. Proud about ignorance. Can I please ask you a question? It's a void. It's a void. How many else are there in English? I I heard you. About how many else are there in English? But before you dance, maybe you might want to learn a few things. How many else are there in English? I heard you about this. I have to go back. Simple, simple thing I'm saying to you is the name is the name. If your name is Jacob, you are forever Jacob in whatever language you are. If your name do you know? Don't change his name. If you call do you know how many else are there? Do you speak English, my dear friend? How many else are there in English? L, L, the alphabet L, how many are there? Just one L. Unfortunately, in my mother tongue. Okay, we're going to change Muhammad's name now. Excuse me. Muhammad now is going to be a loop. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Can you, can you please wait? Can you please wait before, before just throwing in more? Oh, there we go. Plenty of ignorance. We were talking about this. You You are going to three L's. My name cannot be represented properly in English. The lady seems to have thought that my you name can never change regardless of the language. But unfortunately for her, you know, you even in the question. example of my name, my name necessarily changes with the change of language. My name is Arul with a Ul, which doesn't exist in English and therefore it just happens to be Arul in English. Similarly, Jesus could not, the name Jesus, Yeshua, could not be represented in Greek and therefore during transliteration of the name, the name had to morph to accommodate the features available in the language. The lady suggested that never could happen. You really need to go back to the Hebrew name, which is a problem. But anyway, that's a long story. Now you just came. Why is that? his question here. Yeah, also my question. What's your question, sorry? You say about the history because the, 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 the main um, subject here was why do you believe Luke, John and everything? And you say that uh, because in a history, but uh, um, I can be in the same point of view. But the problem is, do you have like 
a Bible in the time at Jesus. The problem is no. Well, you ask Christians. Christian, you cri ask Christians, <laughs> Christians don't have Bible at the time at Jesus. Maybe you can show me. No, because no, no, before before we go to the maybe. Show me because you you no, talking no, about me, excuse me, excuse me. you you are talking about history. So for history you need proof. You can say that yeah, uh, Matthew, John write about something uh, about the, the the gospel and then they they give to the people but you didn't have a gospel from this time so how can you say that on that time they do it so, so that's is, uh, what? that is that so is, you ask a question you answer your own question now you're okay, going to comment okay, further on your okay, own question okay. how does this work really also, this is also. this is this is p52 okay. john rylands papyri okay p52 of One of the. Oh, are, you the going to, be are you going to? Are you going to? Patient. Patient. Yeah. Is that the Bible? Well, of course it is. Is the Bible? Of course. That is the Bible. That's everything that you had from the Bible at that time. Well, obviously but not. Your it's Bible. Just a, it's, it's just a more fragment. Big from this one. Well, obviously, this so is a fragment. What's come? What's come? Uh, your question uh, was. Your question was. Yeah. Were there gospels in existence in the first century? That was your question. Yeah. My question was, did you have a Bible? A Bible, so including the Gospels, in everything, the everything. This Bible that yeah. you have in your hand, yeah, yeah. do you have a Bible at, from that time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, of, all of this Bible was written. Did in the you have it? Yeah or not? Yes. Okay. Show to me. All of the Bible. Show to me. Who do you think maybe you are? Maybe on, on the internet. <laughs> no, wait a second. Who do you maybe, think you are? Maybe on the internet you can show me. You don't seem to know history. How does history work, my dear friend? Can I ask one question? Can anybody prove it? Can anybody? Can any religion? Can anybody prove it? The problem is, can, for, can, for example, can anyone? Anyone? The, the, the problem is, for example, uh, Muslims had Quran at the time from 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 Muhammad. The problem is, they no way. The problem is, they they didn't have. Oh no, that's a lie, bro. We have internet. Show, have us, show us a copy of the 7th century Quran. Do you have internet? Do you have internet? You can look at. Don't make up things. You can look at. Don't make up things. Don't make up You didn't. Don't no, no. Let's come back to the Bible. You didn't let's have. Let's come back to the Bible. You didn't have Bible from that time. Back to the Bible. Excuse me. Let's come back to the Bible. You didn't have. Well, we don't lie. Like, you just make up things as as it suits you. Do you have? The answer is pretty simple. Yes, Paul lived in the first century. Peter lived in the first century. James, can I please finish? Can I please finish? All the information that you have come from this book. Can I please finish? Matthew lived. Mark lived. Luke, John, Paul, Peter, James, Jude. Everyone who were writers of the New Testament lived in the first century. And we, you wouldn't wait, would you? You wouldn't wait, would you? They didn't. Obviously, you didn't. We have manuscriptal evidence coming from early second century in a wide, wide landmass across a region surrounding Israel, far away, various languages, thousands of manuscripts from the second century pointing to the fact that in the first century the original manuscripts were written in Greek in Israel. There is no other explanation possible. In Greek. In Greek, yeah. You never listened. I, I, I have a suspicion you didn't even listen to my answer. I listened to your answer. Well, what you did, said, I, you, what you, did you, you listen? Said, you said. What, what did, I was, you, I was what did asking, you hear? I was asking about uh, a Bible yep. at the time of Jesus. Yep. And you say to me that you... The only thing that you have is this little card size, Babaya, the little card size uh, document on the photos. That's so everything let, let, that you have from the Bible at that time. So how can you say that all the Bible is the same uh, that what Jesus had in, in the past? Can I, can I, how can, can you I, say that? Can I, can I please point out to you something, my yeah? dear? I really don't know who... But you, you didn't answer my, my, my question. Yeah. I'm going, to point, I'm going to make a comment here, please. The comment is this. I really don't know who trained you no and one. sent you here. I no really one. don't know. But, but, but whoever trained you I said has, the truth. Whoever trained you has given you insufficient idea of how history works. You seem to stand in a public place like Hyde Park 
made derogatory remarks about the historical validity of the Bible using terms like the little piece, this and that, with no insight, with no insight which suggests to me you have any clue about the manuscriptal evidences for the Bible. Without having any clue, you have the audacity to stand here and challenge. And that to me is very, very poor training. You might but in you my might poor answer, take that feedback. My poor question, you can answer to my poor question. The poor question, so let I, me I was asking, did you have a Bible at the time of Jesus? You I answered have. yes already multiple you times. Have. You don't have. So you don't want my answer, do you? No, you don't have. The Bible I answered multiple times, yes, yes, yes. Matthew, let Mark. After 40 years of the death the Bible of the time Matthew, of Mark, Luke, it's John, one James. And no, let me. Is, can you show me the Quran now? The, from the from Muhammad's time. Can you, you show me one? Uh, can you, you show me one? It's only one God. Do you have Quran from Muhammad's time, please? Show us. Show us. It's only one God. And his name is. Full copy. It's only one God. And his name is. Full copy. Full copy. Full copy. From the seventh century. There are a lot. It's only one God. There are a lot of things about it. Yeah, yeah. Find out, please. Nothing serious, sit, nada. But you know, Jesus, they killed him. After they killed him, then a man, a man made religion. A oh, man, no, no, no. after it's 40 him, years, call him, call him. yeah, of the, the death, the death of Jesus. Available evidences then, point out to then the first Bible events. was written. No, no, after no. After 40 years. So, yeah, 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 yeah. people have tried yeah, 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 yeah. to, people this, have tried. This is the history. If you want to believe, Jesus was someone and then come back and right then he tell it Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I'm in, I'm in back to And then, and then my mother Of course, they made their Why? Why did they make up? Why? Why did they make up? Because humanity, they always waited for someone special to come and save them. What are you talking about someone special? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, everywhere we're going, everyone we're going. believe? If Jesus my was, dear, if Jesus, why Jesus, if Jesus is God and son of God and he died for us, for the sin, Adam, this is all rubbish, my friend. This is all stories. Wake up, be good human being. I would try to be good human being and live this rubbish away. How, how can you be? They used to kill people, the name of God, the, the Christian, they used to hang people, hang. And they used to torture people. These people, they claim they know Jesus. Who gave you life? You know how many priests? They, they, they have, they had sex with, with little kids. Why don't you tell me? You know? Are you? Can you imagine? And they say we are holy people. Are you an atheist, sir? You know? Are you an atheist, sir? And they, they were, they were Peter Are you an atheist, sir? No, I'm telling you, I'm not an atheist. I'm a human being. I am free. Religion needs to die. You do you no know religion. You don't religion. teach religion. People who seem to have the same idea like you. You, you wait so you bring people their Jesus. People who have Jesus. the same idea oh, like you in history have killed more you know, people and, and even all Christians people. put together. You brainwash people. Be good human being, my no friend. friend. Wake up. No friends talk. Wake up. More people. In a I, I am. Two years. I'm already. I, I don't like religion. That's why I'm here. I don't like any religion. Neither do I, which is good. So let's come back to Jesus. We're talking about religion. We are talking about the person who lived, died, came back alive. We need to love one another. Yeah, yeah, proof, please. Good human being. How we need to be good. Yeah, please. We need to enjoy our life. No war. No the, war. The Why should the we not like one another don't without religion? Just we are brothers and sisters. Just talking. Why don't I you do it? it. Stop. Yep. Kid, what does it say? School with humanity of the name of the religion. Look what you did in Iran. What does it say? You do not know the date from the Quran. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, show you the date. So who wrote okay, the Quran? So who wrote the Quran? Did Muhammad let you change? Let you change. Do you have the proof of that? Let's read. Okay. So radio carbon analysis has dated the part. My dear friend, radio carbon. Radio carbon, radio carbon analysis has dated the parchment on which the text is written to the period between AD 568. Did Muhammad write the Quran in AD 568? 
No, 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 question. Let, 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 question, 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 please. Let me read it. Question, please. Let me read it. Let me read it. Who wrote the Quran? I'm going to say you. I'm, uh, let, let me read it. So, let me, let me read it. 85, 60. Let, let me read it. 95, 5, 4 percent accuracy. You didn't know the date. The date. About Catholic. Who me? So, okay. me? I know. Me. I know. Muhammad. So, I know. Muhammad that? was born in let, 570 AD. Let me. Let me. 570 let AD. Let me show you. Why do you? Why do you have this? Let the me question. show you. Let five, me show seven, you. Excuse me. You five, seven, let me show you. When what, was you Muhammad born? When was see? Muhammad see? born? You see? You see? When was let Muhammad me, born? Let me. Let me show you. Let Let me show you. When? Because I know in French but not in uh, in English. Let me show you. Take so please tell me how no, no, Muhammad no, no, wrote the Quran no, no, before no, no, he was born, please. No, no, no. Before he was born. Well, of course, 568 is two years before he was born. You're going to see. You see what? You're going to see. I'm going to see. revise the timeline for Muhammad here. Excuse me, my dear. When did Uthman come up with the four Uthmanic Mushafs? When did he do that? Age of 17. Wait, wait. Have you seen? Have you seen? Have you seen? You seem to hate God so much, yeah. and so you are a terrible man, I should say, my dear friend. He said he was a good man, but he's not doing very You're not a good man by rejecting the source of your life. The moment, let me ask you, sir. Yes, sir. Someone, my dear friend, can I? My, let, let's get his help. Do you think gratefulness is good or bad? I am grateful. Gratefulness, showing gratitude. Is that good? So, can can we please get his help? He says gratitude is good. So, lack of gratitude or ingratitude, I I, I think, if I'm right, ingratitude is that good or bad? Ingratitude is very bad. Very very bad. So let's let let me ask. So if someone came to you, let's say you're shivering in the cold, yeah, and someone came to you and say, oh, you're shivering, please have this jacket. Okay, is it good for you to show gratitude? Like the, the, the two, Amen. Um, if someone were to give you good things, because you show gratitude. Yeah? This gentleman got his life from yeah. God. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, this gentleman I'm got his life I'm from God, yet chooses to reject him. Is that good or bad? I am no, not interested in God. What do you mean, how do you know? How do you know? Who, where else did God, he get his life from? God is not here. We made God. How do you know? God from the parliament? How do you know? The question simple. Where did he get his life from? From the he parliament? Never made any contact with that. No, we know. I'll come to that. But let me ask you some questions before that. Could he have got his life from the parliament? No. Could he have got his life from the hospital? No. Could he have got his life from doctors? Possibly his time. No, cloning is dealing with cells which already exist. Question is, how did those cells begin to exist? Could he have got his life from his parents? No, obviously not. So, this gentleman has not got his life from any conceivable source which he relates to currently. My dear friend, my dear friend, you haven't got your life, according to our friend here who is our arbitrator, you haven't got your life from the hospital. You haven't got your life from your parents. You haven't got your life from doctors. You haven't got your life from the parliament. You haven't got life from any of these sources which you normally relate to. You seem to have got your life from beyond physical existence. And there is only one viable source which could have given you life and that is God. Only one viable source. And to Him you show a complete lack of gratitude. Are you a good man? <laughs> this is all brain in my friend. No, this is I called a question. I am sick and tired. I am sick and tired. I am sick and tired. Of the question. Amen. Listen. No, no, no. Let's not deal with thing. brainwashing. No, Let's no, deal no, with no, a no, question. No, 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 no. Who did you get your life from? from when you show no. ingratitude to the source of your life, you know, are you being a good man? Question. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a question. Yeah, 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 What's yeah. that? Yeah. I'm being good. Yeah. yeah. I, what? I'm being good, yes. You're being good. Yes. When last did you say, God, thank you? When last did you say that? Morning. Are you really? Yeah. Okay, that's good then. So at least he's saying, thank you, God, which is really good. I don't know which God then. That's fine. As long as you appreciate you got your life from God, that's a good first step. I don't say that. Thank you to good God. Good first step. Now, let's take back beyond the I first. I say thank you, Mother Nature. 
Which you. Mother Nature gave you life? No, no, thank you. How many love? Four. Thank you. We oh, want to live. Mother Nature. Which Mother Nature yeah, gave yeah, you yeah, life? No, no you go. No, you go. You have to die. And they killed him. And then, no, no. And which, then he raised up Which again. Mother Nature gave you life? Can you please ask her to come no. visit Ma all the hospitals <laughs> across the world? I say that. We need life. Can she come give on, life, come please? On, come on. Listen, you want Precisely. A, you want answer. In other words, you, you yourself know answer. you made a nonsense. You want to answer. You want to answer. Yeah. Which Mother Nature gave you life? I, I need an answer. Which Mother Nature? Yeah. You are asking, this is what, what God, who is this God? What's name? You know, you know what he's trying no. to say? Okay. He is saying, how can you ask about Mother that's Nature? God have, doesn't that's exist. God have a name. Point. That's if God have a name. No. That's God have a name. Yes, of course he does. What's his name? Yahweh. He's rubbish. <laughs> Yahweh. You. Yahweh in Judaism oh, or uh, uh, so Semitism yeah. or no, Sumerian uh, ideology or Babylonian. Babylonian. He, he had a wife. And his wife was called Asher. Okay. But obviously, it's because Asher. It was yeah, well, show, 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 it was the God. Yeah, that's yeah, there was only the God before we were today. talking about this thing. Yeah, and well. you say that yeah, the people at times yeah, come well. out who wrote yeah, well. the book. I say okay, no, no. but the problem is no, no, no. you didn't have a, a Bible at the time of Jesus. So how can you say that Jesus had this book that you have on your hands? Because yeah, you never had the book. So I say, how can you believe? That's why. So I, the problem is. I can they, they have a book. In fact, they, they didn't have a book at the time of Jesus. So how can you say that in the history? Go, 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 show what do you have in your hand? Show him the evidence. Show him the evidence that you found. Because you not you have you have nothing at the time at Matthew or whatever about the about the Bible. So now you ask me. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You asked me. You you asked me that there is no Quran at the time of Muhammad. You say to me. I have say to me. So I now I'm going to prove to you that there are a Quran at the time of Good. Muhammad. Let's see. Yeah, show, show, okay. Show, show, show. show us. Can you read it for me? This paragraph. The result of radiocarbon dating of the parchment on which the text is written places the manuscript in the period between 568 and 645 with 95.4 percent probability. The testing was commissioned from the University of Oxford and carried out in 2014. This result suggests that the manuscript dates back to the first century of Islam, close to the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad, about 570 mm -hmm. to 632, and the rule of the first three caliphs. Okay. Yeah. So, so we have texts from this period, but you didn't have a Bible at the period. You didn't them. have. Yeah, let's you, the, what was my question? My question was the. Because we are talking about wait, we are talking about history. I say to you, why do you believe Mark, John, Luke uh, in the Bible? And you say to me, it's because it's history. I say, okay, do you have a book at the time from Mark, Luke, and John? But you didn't have. No, you said we didn't. You have. didn't have because the Bible that you have here. Yeah, obviously it's Matthew not, has to not, write when he was have, alive. Can a dead man write? Do you have a Bible at the time can of Jesus? Can a dead man no, write? They don't. They don't. They, you, you don't can have. So how can you say that this is the word of Jesus? No, 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 let's no. let's deal with the Bible the people, and the Quran the separately, please. They never meet let's Jesus. not confuse. They never meet Jesus. Never ever. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse they me. Never meet Jesus. Let's deal with the Quran first here, please. Yeah. They so, never meet Jesus. So can we deal with the Quran first here, please? Five sixty-eight and 645 between those years is when this manuscript is dated to. Question, when did Muhammad live? What, where did Muhammad receive the Quran? That's, that's between 600 and 632. Let me repeat my question here. It's 600 and 632. Let me repeat the question here. The problem is that you didn't know the Prophet Muhammad. You didn't know him. You don't know what I know and what I don't know. Let's stick to what because you say because he didn't receive his Quran, the Quran, where uh, when he was born. Yeah, before he was born, obviously before he didn't of, receive, of when he was born. Did he receive the Quran uh, he before give, he was he born? Give, he, he received the Quran forty years, yeah, yeah, yeah. forty years Let's after. The so Excuse the me. problem is that between 600 and 632. You know things, young man? You are just question. So you don't seem to, you don't so seem to deal with the question I asked. You don't well, know. The question I asked is simple. When did Muhammad live? Muhammad. 
by the Muhammad League. According to my knowledge, he come from when did Muhammad no, live? No, no, then jo uh, in Jordan. According to my well, yeah. your knowledge of he was from Rome and also he was from Petra. You see, when did the problem, the problem live? is, was not I ask you history. No, no, no. The problem is, I ask you, I ask you about history. You, you. You don't have a Bible at the time of Jesus. I can talk about have? the Bible in five minutes. Do you have? Friend, Why do you avoid it? Why do you avoid it? You didn't have. Let, let do me you have it. have it? Do you have what? I agree the with Bible you. Bible at the you time of the Jesus. Is, my dear, you know what the problem do you is? Have? The same with do you have? This gentleman asked the question. Is the do same. Present an answer. You and when I try to challenge, when I try to challenge his point, he runs away. Talks about something else. You know, that seems to be a problem here. Can we? Which one do you? My excuse me. You can. You can pick your choice. You can pick your choice. We can either speak about the Bible first or the Quran. Which one do you choose? We are talking about the Bible. You say. You say. You say to me that that when you were talking with the brother, you you are talking about Jesus. Wait, and that's why I asked to you question. why do you why do you believe what do you is want in the to Bible? talk about the Bible first talk about or the, the Quran? Bible. Yeah. Come on, talk about do the you Bible. want to talk about the Quranic come manuscript? Come on, come on. We're gonna talk about your belief. I, mean, I, I didn't uh, say nothing about my belief. You say that I thought you wanted you say, to check out the you, Birmingham manuscript here. You say that the Bible is true. I said that very well, that is true. You claim that the Bible is true. I didn't claim that the, the, the Quran is true. I didn't claim that the Bible is true. I thought you came to me with a phone. You showing me a manuscript, because, didn't because you? Because you asked me. But and therefore, but do you want to talk about that? We talk about your manuscript. Would you like to talk about, about the your Quranic claim. manuscript? You talk about your claim. Would you like to talk about the Quranic we manuscript? We talk about your claim. In other words, I claim anything. Do we agree? You claim. Do we agree? You claim about the Bible. You claim the Bible. Do we agree? You can't talk about the Quran. Do we agree? If you want. Okay. Can we talk about the Quran first, please? Come on, talking about the Bible. You claim something. I, I didn't you need claim to really go back to your I, I trainers here. I didn't claim anything. Your training didn't go through well. I didn't claim anything. Quran. When was the Quran, this particular manuscript, when is that dated to? When did Muhammad live? You avoid. You see, you avoid. Question. You avoid. When did. Are you Muslim, sir? You avoid. Are you Muslim, you know sir? A good Muslim, you bad avoid, Muslim. You avoid it. A Muslim who is ashamed of the Quran. You don't have a manuscript at the time of Jesus. So why do you believe this book? I can talk about the Bible. Why do you believe this book? You don't have the manuscript. I don't believe in the Quran. You don't have the manuscript at that time. I don't believe in the Quran. Why do you believe it? I don't believe it. Right. If you want to talk about the Bible, obviously you can't talk about the Quran, and therefore you are running away from it. You are really good. You avoid. Not really? Can we talk about the Quran then? You are talking about the Quran. Ah, Why are you avoiding? 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 Trying to avoid the conversation about the Quran. Avoiding. Well, what do you avoid? He wants to. So obviously, obviously, the Quranic manuscripts do not stand up to scrutiny in complying with Islamic tradition. The Quranic manuscript that you are talking about, which comes from Birmingham, does not conform to your idea that Uthman burnt every Quranic manuscript prior to the Uthmanic Mushafs. Because this manuscript contradicts that. And therefore, you yourself don't know what you are talking about. So can we either say, either you take the validity of the dating of this particular manuscript, or you believe in Uthman. Choose one of those two. The you problem, can have only one. The, the problem don't have the cake and eat it because they are contradictory. The now let's is, get back the to the problem Bible. Is, the problem is that you claim that the, Bible, the, the Bible I is true. I can talk about the Bible, you claim all, that the Bible all my life. Okay. And I'm here exactly for that particular purpose. But you Let don't me don't have, you don't have the Bible, Bible at, your at the time of Jesus. You don't have it. So how, how can you believe God, this? Is it a good idea to ask Jewish. a question and answer yes. that question yourself? Is that a good idea? A prophet to the Jews <laughs> with the book. Ah, you want to support Jewish. your brother there. It doesn't make sense. So why? When, you, why? when he has a question for which obviously he wants my answer, <laughs> is it mean? not wise for why, him why to wait mean? for my answer? Why, why, once they so were what, else, what, what do you know? What do you know? 
the pro brother, the problem is. Please send me a few. He details. was, he was. Brother. The problem, is, he was saying that. So let me ask you this: that the gospel when, of truth. Can dead men write? One second. Of truth. So I say, why do you believe second. the gospel of truth? One second. And he said, he said, he said because there are issues. Question. And I say, there are fake histories. So how can you say that your history is question? And then can dead men write? Nothing. Question. Nothing. Can. So he needs to be in training next. He only talks about I don't know. Can dead men write? Obviously, dead men cannot write. But the church testifies that the Gospel of Matthew was written by Matthew. When could he have written that? Before he died? After he died? What? Dead men cannot write. Cannot what? Write. But the church testifies. Clearly, that Matthew wrote the Gospel of Matthew. When could he have written that? Before he died or after he died? The Syrian. The problem is not did he Matthew wrote that or not. We didn't, we didn't the problem, the question you are asking is, did Matthew in the first century alone? Do you have a good one? Matthew. What do you get this information? Because the church has preserved history. What do you believe the church? Because what the church believes in and has communicated has been testified by even people who are not Christians. Yeah, but Credible there, witnesses. There are, there are many churches. So what do you believe on the Which many church are you talking about? There are many churches. Like, like which ones? There are uh, Mormon churches. Mormon church in the first century. In the first century. The problem is... Which are the church in the first century? Wait a second. Mormon which, church in the first which, century. The problem, which are the first century church existed? Which Bible? Yeah. Then let's talk about yeah, the first which century church. Mormon church in the you first see, century. That's the problem. To you. you say that your the book is the truth. The problem is you don't know you what say, you're no, talking about. You say that your, your book is the truth. Now wait a second. There are many Bibles. I really like to learn about church history. You're teaching me now. In the first century, according to him, the Mormon church existed. Which other church existed in the first century? Which other church existed in the first century? You avoid, you avoid. Ah. I say, why do you believe? You know, you answered a point. You made a point already. You which say, no, you say, no, no, the whole no, no. witnesses you exist say, in the first century. You say, the the Bible. Bible. You say my dear friend, you, you believe the church. Seventh-day Adventists exist in the first you say, century. You say, that the Baptists, the problem is, the Methodists, no Bible. The Church of England, the problem which of them exist in the first century? The problem is, is the problem is you knowing nothing stands here talking about things which you don't know. That's the problem. What your book is coming from? That's the problem. Do you know about the religion called Mormonism? Yeah. Mormonism. Uh, yeah. More Mormonism. Do you have a rough idea as to when it began? Do you think it began in the first century? I can give you a hint. Mormonism began in the US. In the US. He isn't even listening now. In the US. Did the US exist in the first century? The United States of America, did that exist in the first century? First century? Yeah. Oh, so obviously, Mormonism could not have started in the first century. But this gentleman doesn't think so. <laughs> I was talking about, basic I was talking about churches. <laughs> I'm talking about churches. Because uh, exactly you believe in your church. But you believe in your church. Uh, which church? Are you church? Which church? Which church? Which church? Yeah. Different church. The first century, which church? Like, like there are and different I, I Bibles. Really like to be like there are here. different Bibles. I really like to be enlightened here. Which other so church? Can like you please let me know? I really like to research this one. The problem was Mormonism. Problem what other? What other isms in the first the, century? The problem was that you didn't know where your book comes from. Oh yeah. But I didn't know. But you, but you believe everything. My dear friend, I did not know, and that's where I'd like to really learn from you. In the first century, I've just learned from you. Mormonism existed. Can I please learn a few more things from you? You avoid it. See, what other really churches existed in the first century? My dear friend, what other churches? Can I please tell you something? Can I please? Feedback. Feedback. You really need to go back to your trainer and tell him this training is not sufficient for Hyde Park. Not sufficient. If you want. With your Bible. I really want to know that's why I'm telling you. Where, where you come from, but so, are you with him? So, the idea that Jesus, uh, the history of Jesus did not exist in the first century is a joke. 
in terms of manuscriptal evidences that we have for the life of Jesus Christ, even be, be, before we get to the uh, conclusion that um, the Gospels are parts, uh, are parts of scriptures, what we need to appreciate is that Gospels are reasonable historical documents. But we have people like the gentleman who showed up here time and time again at Hyde Park having no clue about the subject area that he is talking about yet advances ideas like there was no Bible in the first century there was no Jesus in the first century and Jesus was not in the way that the Bible portrays him in the first century and so on making plenty of claims related to God audaciously yet have no clue not even the fundamental clue about the history of church he said Mormonism existed in the first century unfortunately for him Mormonism started plenty of centuries later in the first century there was no such thing called Mormonism if if he had mentioned things like Gnosticism maybe I might have given him maybe 20 percent marks saying okay he maybe knows his history a bit if he mentioned about Arianism I could say oh maybe he knows a bit unfortunately for him he didn't even mention about those things he was talking about Mormonism if I give him half a more minute he would talk about maybe black Israel movement maybe he'd talk about uh, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses maybe he would talk about uh, Seventh-day Adventists and so on all sorts of names which he thinks or Methodists or Baptists Church of England and so on the unfortunate thing the tragedy is that people who are trained and sent here with the same set of questions over and over again are not even given basic facts of the area that they are sent to challenge which is Bible the manuscriptal evidence and the person of Jesus Christ to all those who are in the Islamic Dawah team my dear friends I earnestly urge you by all means come and challenge us we are here to be challenged the Bible has been around for centuries after facing all challenges we're not running away from challenge we are here to face challenges but the only request is when you come here trained to challenge do your research a bit more don't just rely on your Islamic resources at least try and find what Christians think and know about the history of the church the history of the biblical manuscripts and the history of Jesus at least try I don't want you to believe in us at least try and evaluate and then you might come to the conclusion that what the Christian historians wrote what the Jewish non-Christian historian Josephus wrote what the Roman historian Tacitus Suetonius Pliny the Younger wrote and what um, Lucian of Samosota a Greek writer satirist wrote uh, and uh, what Babylonian Talmud testifies about Yeshu and so on all these resources put together gives you a consistent picture of who Jesus is Jesus who claimed to be the Messiah who claimed to be divine who was able to perform signs and wonders who lived died came back alive and the immediate followers of Jesus trusted in the fact that Jesus came back alive and they were willing to testify for what they knew to be true even with their own lives this is history solid history and I'd like you to challenge solid history not a, a straw man history that you have made it up to be Jesus is real and he alone is able to save you God bless you